right, so it's Sunday. I did not run yesterday on Saturday, which is when I would normally schedule my long run. But today, Sunday afternoon, is going to be my longest run uh, in many, many years. The longest I've ever ran at one time is 10 miles. Uh, the longest I've ever run this year is 8 miles. So today, I'm going to set myself a goal to run 8.5 miles um, at whatever pace it takes me to finish. My goal is simply to finish. So, eight and a half miles is happening this Sunday afternoon. So, uh, I learned about this obviously through following Nick Bayer on YouTube and it looks like that my shaker is inside of here so sorry oh my gosh not a great idea <laughs> look at that I had I had no idea that was gonna happen but hey you know what we're gonna do that for the shaker bottle and we got a facial happening here it's great all right i'm gonna start that back sorry about the fog and we are gonna do a scoop of g1m now one of the things i'm gonna say about g1m sport is that when you shake it up it does not actually shake up that easily so what I like to do is, I like to put a little water in, about 200 mLs, right? I have this old Advocare cup here that uh, lets me know kind of how much I'm putting in. And then what I do is, I grab a full scoop of BPN G1M Sport, dump it in. It's like LeBron pregame. Oh my gosh, this is not working out well at all. This is terrible. I'm going to have to literally clean all this up and do a completely new shaker cup. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Allison, did you hear that downstairs? Yes. It just sounded like um, frustration and bouncing. That little <laughs> shaker ball bouncing. <laughs> well, that shaker ball bounced everywhere. Look at that powder on the handle there. <laughs> I mean, this stuff is like slime as well. It's not, it, and it's because it's got this product in it that's called cluster dextrin. And that cl cluster dextrin like sticks to your stomach, which is awesome because it helps you to feel f full during your run. So now I'm gonna have to mop the floor. But <laughs> yes. Are you gonna mop the floor after I did that? Oh my gosh, my wife loves me. If you don't drink it fast, then you've got to shake it up again before you drink it again. Because if it has any amount of time whatsoever to settle, it gets clumpy. And um, it's a good thing in the stomach while you're running, you feel fuller, you feel better to run, you feel like you have more energy. However, it's not that tasty to swallow a big old clump of G1M Sport. It does taste good. This is a fruit punch flavor. It's got some sodium in it, so it just tastes like a really watered down Hawaiian punch with a, with a lot of salt sprinkled into it. So, fuel for the eight and a half miles. podcast every day that's what I do I like to listen I like to learn and uh, something that I was listening to recently was the rich roll podcast uh, called how not to diet with Michael Greger I don't know if you can see that 
How Not to Diet with Michael Greger, MD. Pretty good. So I'm going to listen to that today, finish that up. In addition to the podcast, one of the things that I always have to do before I run is I have to pee. It's kind of ridiculous. I know that they say runner's diarrhea is like a real thing. Like right before you run, like you have to go to the port john in a race. Well, for me, I have to pee incessantly. And it never fails. Every single time I'm out on my run, I always have to pee. And so thankfully where I run, there's a lot of woods. And I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. I pee in those woods from time to time. Okay? So it is what it is. One mile, 10 minute, 38 pace. Slow, but just warming up. X1038, let's go. Four miles. Still going strong. Feel good. A little fatigue in the legs, but for the most part, feeling strong almost halfway there. Six miles. Starting to hurt a little bit. Slow, for sure. Six miles. Seven. Feeling pretty good now, feeling strong. Feeling like I'm gonna finish up good. 8.5, one and a half to go. Let's go. Eight miles. 0.5 left. I got this. Finished. 8.5 miles. Done. Woo! Knees are hurting. Right shin is hurting a little bit, not bad. But quads are hurting. But overall, I feel pretty good. I do feel strong. Not that hot, not that bad. I think I can do more. I'm gonna do 13.1 on my birthday. 13.1 is the goal on my birthday. Uh, I'm gonna try to do, the ha to do a half marathon uh, with my dad at the beach on sabbatical for my birthday. And uh, I wanna do it for our Iris Global kids that we're helping to support over in Mozambique, Africa. Um, probably gonna put something up pretty soon if you want to sponsor me for a mile 100% of whatever you would like to give uh, can go towards helping to feed and educate these kids so just an idea that I have uh, hopefully I'll have some partners and maybe some other people who are willing to try to run on my birthday that morning uh, maybe even to raise awareness uh, for world hunger human trafficking all of the plights and plagues that are happening around the world today you could run for whatever you choose so uh yeah just some thoughts just some ideas but that's 8.5 in the books longest run that i've done all year i feel good i feel hungry i'm ready to go in clean up and recover okay till the next one peace <laughs>